Good morning, Pisces. How are you? How are you doing on this lovely Thursday? It's the 12th. All right, Pisces, don't forget the kids are back in school. Do not forget to, you know, tell them about that mask because this new virus or the old virus is getting to the kids more than the adults. So, you know, kids love to play and they get to forget to put the mask on. I know, if, and I'm going to keep saying that, I know a five-month-old baby that has the virus, the new virus, okay? I told y'all way before this started, and I've always said that this virus will come in five stages, five different names, okay? I keep telling y'all that, and I don't change nothing about what I say. So for y'all newcomers, I've been saying this since this whole epidemic started. All right, I want to send all my prayers for the people that are not feeling good. Uh, Destiny, send the prayers out to Destiny. She ain't feeling well. Um, and all the other ones on my channel who don't feel well or who are going through something in their life. So I send my prayers to each and every one of y'all. Okay. Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you a million for all those who get private reading and support me um, by donating or doing whatever y'all can for me. Um, know that for every reading that y'all get from me, I donate to my kids. And also for anyone to go into my Botanica, Pisces Studio Botanica, um, that sells all the spiritual oils, salts, bath, sprays, jewelry, everything you need. I have it. Okay, so go in there and check it out. And this is, um, well, this ain't the one, but these are a few of my bracelets. A man bracelet, okay. They have everything on there, the description of what they are, okay. Um, yes, all right, so... My charm bracelet, my, um, okay, I have two kinds. And this is like the one I have on. All right, that Miss Lovely Renee gave to me. Miss Lovely, my twin. That's my twin right there, Miss Renee. She's something else. Okay, um, these are all chakra, um, necklace. This one, you can put your favorite perfume on it or your, um, whatever you want on it. Um, this is um, your stone, different stones. Uh, um, chakra, stones, all kinds. Um, Arc Michael, you know how I feel about them. Um, different stones I have. Make sure y'all all get that watermelon stone. That watermelon stone is very important to Pisces. Get that watermelon stone, read all about it. All right? It's, it's really good for you. My dog done bought her food in here. She's so little. She woke up hungry. I try not to give them table food anymore because it messes with um, my dog's skin, my French bulldog. So now he don't, he can't eat no table food. I don't give him that. He get mad because he's normally used to eating table food. This is my Palo Santo. I need to be burning. Um, I have my sage that I make, my homemade sage. All right. In my sage, I know um, it's a real strong smell, so I wrap it with all different other herbs that can cut off the energy. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Um... These are different stones that you use and you rub even when you're taking a walk or watching TV. Um, learn to put your stones outside, okay? Put the stones outside so they just like a cell phone. You got to charge them. I put my cards, I put my stones, whatever it is, I put them outside. And what I noticed is when you sleep with your stones under your bed, you be dreaming all kinds of shit. Last night I was dreaming, and I didn't have my stones or anything under my pillow, but I was dreaming of my father and of this um, baby that was sick, and then a puppy, loyalty. 
Um, then I found myself in some type of church, and we were all standing in this church, and um, nobody wanted to get up. So I got up in the church, and I started um, singing, and I didn't know the words to the song, but I was like, shit, I'm standing up. What the fuck? Yes, I did. So I burn the sage in the name of Jesus, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Protect me with any energy that doesn't want the best for me. Protect me in my Pisces studio and the people that come in here. Protect us from any bad energy, okay? We are all here to grow. And if we ain't here to do that, then I guess that is the energy that I'm protecting myself over, okay? The kids are going back to school and everything is going on. So, um, you know, we have to um, make sure our kids are good. Make sure the kids are good. Okay. So, I don't know why I can't get this rock. But I'm trying to get this one rock. So, let me know. Okay. Sign of the cross, yes, Lord Jesus. Protect me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay, let's get started with your reading. All right. Now, I'm shuffling the cards. Shuffle, shuffle. Um, trying to get somebody to come here and get a bigger table so that I can spread my wings. On my deck, son. Yes, yeah, spread my wings on my deck. Yeah, I need, I need to spread them. I need some room so that y'all can see all my beautiful tarot decks of cards I have. All right, all right. And you know, if I came by with a deck, I put that baby up. Yes, I put it right up, and I love decks, but it's some decks that I'm sorry, I just can't get with, and I ain't the kind of reader that read it just because I got it. If I if it don't bond with me, I put this shit up. I don't even want it, all right? At the bottom of the card that you got the two of cups. Let's put that out. All right, spirits, Ooh, they flying out. Oh, the next card you got is the moon card. Somebody's feeling, I don't know. Tell me, give me another card, spirit. The next card you got is the empress. Oh, you've been, you've been getting the empress in this moon card for a minute now. All right. So you got the two of cups. Now, somebody in the past was happy with a person or uh, whoever, if somebody's here thinking about you falling in love, okay? Somebody wants to resurface this of a romance relationship, forgiveness, and the ending of a challenge, all right? Um, it's changing gift. Don't give up on people you love. So somebody here is thinking about you, you thinking about them, y'all marrying each other, and I know all about it. Because I keep telling myself, why am I marrying this person like this? Why? Like, what is it? What more they want from me? Okay, like, what is it? I know, you know, I just keep telling myself, I know that this is not, it's not what they want. You know, I know that I'm not the one they want. So I don't understand to save my life. Why do I feel the way I feel? I mean, I don't. I know it's not good for me, so I, you know, it's not good. And when it's not good, it's not good. Like, how many more times do you um, tell yourself to move on from people that don't want you and don't deserve you? All right, but somebody here is feeling that that feeling of the loss, of the losing you. Yes, they are. 
They feeling that feeling, honey. That feeling is getting them. Um, I don't know. It's changing gifts, forgiveness. This person wants to come into your life. But I also feel this person is in their feelings. I also feel like this person is stubborn. Um, it's the cups. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. They real stubborn. They um I, I feel like this person is not the one to come running. I feel like they waiting on you or um or maybe they the one calling you and you're not responding. But Pisces Whatever it is, it's going to resurface. But it's also the end of a challenge. And that's the good thing. I feel like falling in love could be, yeah, you have memories, but you also have to let go. So everything wasn't always bad. You know, you reminisce a good time. But the good time outweighs the bad times. Uh, uh, the bad times outweighs the good time. I said it wrong. Um, and um, we go through that. Like, you know, I don't know. To me, it was a pattern in my life. To me, it was a pattern that I always felt like I, I don't, I didn't feel like it. I know. It ain't I felt it. I knew it. I always was the one that gave. I always was the one. I felt like I was more their mother than they girl. You know, I felt like I always had to have everything done. The house clean, the food done, taking care of everything, making sure. You know what I mean? I felt like I had to do all of that. Um, It, it was hard. And I felt like this is a pattern I always had, giving and giving and giving. But I don't regret anything and don't get it fucked up. I don't regret nothing I've ever done for someone or whoever was with me. I don't have no regrets. Okay, because that's part of my learning experience. But the only thing I did not like, the selfishness, the self center you know, the feeling used. The feeling like I always had to, you know, um, make them feel important and not myself. Put them in front of me and not myself. Um, run into what? You know, it's like if when I worked, I had to run home and be home. And it's like, well, I'm going home to an empty home. You understand? To run to cook and clean and do all this shit. For them just to come in and have the food set on the table, spoon, fork, whatever it is. They drinks and everything given to them. They clothes, wash, clean, you know, everything put up. They had nothing to do. Okay? And I felt like I gave. And this is what the uh, guy was doing for 28 years. The other ones... Um, you know, but I felt like I was going into the same pattern. I felt like, um, ironing clothes, making sure they got the work on time, taking them to work. It was so much, but it, it was the same pattern over and over and over. And I felt like I never got anything out of it. Nothing, 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 nothing came out of it. And so I forgive. And when, if they mad at me, you know, I hope they forgive me. Who knows? You know, I'm so used to everybody pointing their fingers at me that it became a part of my life where now I don't give a fuck. If they point their finger, they don't point their finger. I don't even care. I just know that I have to love people from a distance. I don't hate them. I got to love them from a distance. And that's the difference. Okay, you have to love people from a distance. Even if this person 
you don't see them, you don't speak to them, or whatever. Or you feel them, you think about them, or whatever it is. You love them from a distance. And maybe one day you will see them again, and all of that will disappear. Because sometimes it will take for you to see a person or talk to a person and realize, I know this man ain't still asking me the same old shit. You know, and then you finally say, you know, enough is enough. All right? Because when people are like this and they used to you doing, that's what it's all about. Okay? Uh, it is what it is. But I feel like this is ending. This challenge is ending. All right? And it says, don't forget, forget, don't forget people you love and like i said i don't forget anybody anybody i don't forget no one that hurt me i remember okay and i treat them from a distance far away far away but i know now that if i was to see these people it will really, truly be an ending in it, right in our face. Because I can't go back, okay? You cannot go back. Okay, so then you got the moon card. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessarily worries. Let go of the fear. Okay. Revelation that will make everything clear. You will start seeing things for what it is. You will start seeing everything for what it is. Everything will come clear to you. Don't worry about whatever it is that you're worrying about. Because you may feel like you drowning. Okay. You may feel like you're at the bottom of the ocean drowning. But remember, you come back up. You may feel like you are the phoenix. You may feel like you're in ashes, but you will rise. You may feel like you hit rock bottom. Like nothing is moving. But it will move. Because what goes around comes around. Okay, the world never stays the same. If we, if the world stayed the same, we would have a perfect life. But we don't. And that's a part about living. It's a lesson to be learned. It really is. And you may feel, like I said, that nothing is moving. Everything seems to be stuck. Right? Or everything came to a stop. Or you feeling confused. Like you can't see it. Or you can see it, but you don't want to believe it. You may be in denial about something. But the divine is telling you. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. what it said listen to your dreams and if you ain't having dreams you need to get on your knees and ask God to reveal things in your dreams and give you signs you understand and that's real um You got the emperor after that. Um, you got Venus. Right? It says the empress. The empress Venus. Take time to take action. Right? Time to take action. 
give birth to your dreams or your plans. I don't call them dreams. I call them plans. Create the project that will make you very successful. All right? Abundance and prosperity coming your way. Um, I feel like somebody is telling you to come on, or or they or you not sure whether to cross over with them. You know, somebody's saying, look, look at this. Come on. Looking at you or you, as they sitting there, you walking away. Looking at them for the last time and walking away. Probably tired of sitting, deciding whether to move on or whether to stay. Right? But I see that you are looking back. For the last time and walking away. All right. And once upon a time it was real good. Or whatever it was. You kept it together. But now. You know. This is looking that way towards the door. And it's saying. It's like you're saying. I. For the last time. I'm. Um, looking at what it was and I'm choosing to move on now I see you moving on you make it's like you stuck on a project or you have a project that you've never done that you like very creative about something new that's moving your way all right I feel like you are moving to something brand new. All right. Or you are literally giving birth. All right. Something here is ready for you to explore. And something new is happening. So is somebody new that's coming into your life? Or it's going to be on a whole new level. All right. Because you got somebody here. And this person, usually it shows the woman with a baby, okay? But it's something, it may, it may be a new pet, a new animal, um, something that you want to do that's going to be fairly new. It may be a new baby. It's a, but you're letting go of someone to start something on your own. I am ready to give birth to my abundance and rich future. The divine feminine create fertility, motherhood, a union, a goddess, uh, nurturing, abundance, unconditional love. Okay? Loving yourself, body, mind, and soul like never before okay or maybe um someone here may be overwhelmed shutting down the need for self-caring what uh, disharmony on the on the dark side of this card being overprotective of your creativity Um, but we don't want to see somebody going that way, right? We want to see somebody being creative. We want to see somebody having that energy, that positive outcome. Okay. That unconditional love. Um, grinding yourself. Uh, it says, you know, I feel like whatever it is that you're coming through, it, 
is someone here that you cared about Pisces Scorpio Cancer you really your head about them, your feelings you know um, seems like you can't shake it off it may be somebody you don't even somebody it's like you don't you don't even have sex with this person. Maybe this person is just there, like some weird shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like in your presence and it's not even a sexual part of you or whatever it is. Like some people sleep with some people in the bed and some people live with people and don't even touch them for months and months and months and months. So think about it. If you with especially a man and you don't have sex with these people that y'all supposed to be with what do you think is going on okay somebody is and they thought and they saying I'm moving on I, I you sit there and it's like they it's like they sitting there and they not it's like you're moving on and they are not moving at all it's like they're not coming with you to this abundance that you got. It seems like you left somebody behind and you're moving on to everything you ever wanted. And this person knows that you are a lovable person. They know that you're about your business. They know that you are creative. They know that you have everything going on. Okay, you're starting something fresh. You may be giving birth to some a, a child. Maybe you thought you couldn't have kids. You adopting kids. Maybe um somebody um is adopting a child with uh, some type of birth defect or something wrong. Um, but this child will bring love to your life. I feel like maybe you are taking care of someone else's kids they're not even nowhere they're not even yours but you're leaving someone behind and this person look like they're not coming with you okay and it's like something you cannot stop thinking about because this person is not moving still still right there watching you move on okay and actually probably watching you on videos or whatever they do they sitting there watching you, okay? At the beginning of everything. And to me, it's a, I feel like there's a whole new beginning that's coming to you. I feel like things are coming to you in a different way. Not the way it used to be, but in a different way. A whole different way. Okay? Um... Somebody here in the past was in love. But this person wants you to forgive them. I feel like this person still was in love with you. They want you to forgive them. But it's like the end of the ending of a challenge. This person wants to do things that they never done before. And it says, don't give up on people you love. Hmm. It says, um, listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessarily worries. Let go of the fear. Revelation that will make everything clear. So if you just let go. And let it be. Okay. If you just let go of what it was. Or whatever you left behind. And let it be. Everything will come out to you. It seems like you're having a lot of dreams. But it's something new that you. Because you got the emperor here. You, the emperor. The empress. I mean. The empress. You are definitely. 
It's like you already, you're going to be giving birth to something brand new. I don't know if it's, it may be a project. It may be a new business. It may be you, somebody's that can't have kids, that are getting ready to have kids. Um, but it's something here with kids. And it's something here with a new opportunity. I see a new house. Somebody might have this house that they've been waiting to get. I see yellow behind it, which is the yes card. You're going to get it. I see the sun is shining right behind her as she's holding this animal. Okay, this, you, not an animal, but a unicorn. She got rabbits. Something that you're coming through that's going to make things so much better for you in your life. Okay? You're not sitting here arguing and fighting over shit. You took your shield off. Okay, you got your walls. It's like a trumpet. Something is, is coming to you, and it's coming from the divine. I, I, you're sitting... Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, okay? There's something here, and it's, it seems like it's such a wooded area. Like, I'm not, it's something, it's a growth, it's something new. Look at the, look at the castle back there overhead. Look how the sun is beaming. Look at the yellow behind her right here. I don't know what that is, Okay. She has a lot of yellow around her. Green, the heart, the yellow, the solar plaques. She seems like she's nurturing this animal, baby, unicorn, of all things. A baby unicorn. That is huge. Right? A baby unicorn. Uh, let's see. Let's find out more about this. Spirits, tell me more about what I need to know. The hang the man. Somebody's feeling stuck about this past relationship. Somebody feel like they can't move on from it. But I feel like this person here is not stuck. If they just let go, okay, it seems to me like they are, um, you know, uh, feeling themselves performing, you know, like that act where they hang upside down on those um, curtains or whatever they are, I don't know, material. But it seems like this young young lady or this Pisces seems like you got a lot going on. You got your phone, whatever that is, ringing on your hand. You you you're sitting there. Um, you're not tied up. You're not bounded to no one or to anything. You're free to dive in anytime you want. I feel like this. I feel like Pisces, you know this time what you want. But it's like, you know, you're kind of like in the middle of, I know it's over. I know I got to move on. Um, but you still got to dust yourself off a little bit over whatever it was once upon a time. But I feel like this hang the man is, is a good hang the man. It ain't like you all tired of fuck up. You see it for what it is. The sun is coming up. The sun is beaming on your head. Okay? Uh, it's all good. All right? You got the page of cup right under it because it fell right with the um, hang the man. So I feel like Whatever it was, is about a relationship that um, at once upon a time, it was good. It was really good. Or you was happy with this person. Or no matter how crazy shit was, you still was there with this person. It's like you loved this person. A, a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. 
Then you got the hang the man here. Okay, they fell off right behind each other. That is um Neptune. Again, a, a lot of Pisces in your car reading. All right? Neptune. You're you're sitting there, you ain't stuck with none of this shit. You are not stuck with it. You're free to do whatever you want. But I feel like you reminisce a lot about things. It's like, but you're not stuck in the relationship. You're not stuck in it at all. It's just that you still got um, whatever it is that you believe in. Some of y'all, you know, um, talk about, oh, well, but I'm with my husband. I met him back then, and I, I feel good when I'm with him. First of all, whatever, if I'm going to say it again. If you're talking about a past, because this is a past, relationship with a past person and you moved on and you got married you got kids by the person you with right or you moved on in a relationship with someone else right and then you come and meet this person again but you married you seeing this person on the side or whatever you living with somebody you seeing somebody whatever it is all right just think about it why is this person an ex in your life? I mean, you might have been the one that left the motherfucker from the first place now, and then y'all got back together, then he's telling you he can't do shit with you because he's married. He got kids. He love his kids. And people always going to say, my kids, my kids, my kids. That's all you hear when, when somebody's breaking up. It's got the fucking kids, 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 kids. All right. My thing about it is there is um you got to make a decision whether you go on a court, whatever it is. I don't know how big your kids are. Some of y'all, I can't move because I need, I need, this is where my kids go to school. This is where all their friends live. Um, I, I won't feel right if I left them. Baby, please. I'm going to say it again. My mother got the fuck up and left my father with seven fucking kids. All right? Moved on. Without a job, without nothing, just left his ass. All right? Yes, in Aquarius, my mother, she's in Aquarius. She moved and left my father with seven fucking kids. Moved the fuck on and got up out of there. No job and no nothing. Okay? I know a lot of people then move on and left their kids father because they was abusive or whatever it is. But but then we got some Pisces that made 50 million excuses as to why they where they at and they want to fuck with somebody else. So like, I'm keeping the shit real. I'm I I I'm, I'm married, but I'm I want to see this one and that's the one I'm in love with. But um I don't know because um I don't know if I should leave. You know, I mean I don't love him but I don't like him. And it's so much that you don't like about the person you with. That you married. You don't even know why you with this person. Why you married him. But at the time, it was something that you had to prove. And it wound up proving you wrong. And then you back up to, oh, but I love my ex. And I've seen him again. I have such a good time. And that's all the fuck you having. Because if I had an ex. If I had an ex. This said to me, can you, Lisa, I got everything right here for you. If you really, truly love me, come back to me. And I love you. And shit was different between me and them. I won't even think twice about giving the fuck. As a matter of fact, this is my motherfucking home. I will be putting somebody the fuck out. Just that quick. If I was in love. With an ex of mine. And that motherfucker. And I knew that. Everything that happened. Happened in a real crazy way. Between me and them. And I ain't talking about how it happened to me. I'm talking about in different levels. In Pisces. My level was fucked up. Okay. Now. One thing I'm going to say. The first guy I was with. The the 20. The, the, the guy I was with for all them years. That motherfucker. You know, we both had our own homes. And now that I look at it, you know, I was living in his home 
and my son lived in my home and he paid all the rent in that house and I paid all the rent in my house and I felt like he felt like I should have paid something in that house, you know. But at that time, I wasn't even looking at it like that because I had to pay my own rent, my own bills. And he was like, well, if your son is living there, he should be paying for that, not you, which made a lot of fucking sense. But at the time, I wasn't thinking like that. Okay, so I put all the weight on him. And then it just got real crazy because then, you know, we just fell out of, we grew apart and he had kids on me and all of this. But I'm going to tell you what, shit was fucked up as far as the kids and all that. But I, I, I ain't going to tell you I lived up where he didn't make sure the rent, the food, the bills and all that shit wasn't paid. Okay, compared to me being with someone else. They didn't pay for shit, didn't want shit with me, didn't, did nothing. It was a zero, zero equals zero. Zero, you can't go to the store and buy shit if you ain't got zero. If you got zero and you go to the store, what, what you gonna get with that? Nothing. Okay? If you have somebody in your life that, that doesn't amount to nothing in your life, that's what the fuck you're gonna get. All right? So this is right here with different levels. Maybe you... You had a past lover that you want to go back to that motherfucker and you got a husband and, and kids and you, or you don't have to be married to the person. You got kids about somebody else, but you want to return to someone else in your past. Who the fuck know? And you feeling like, I, I don't know. I know what I want to do, but I'm afraid to do it. Okay. So you stuck and ain't nobody holding you nowhere. All right. And if you, some Pisces be like, well, I don't cheat on my man. Well, that's your fucking business, what you don't do. Okay, but you tolerating all that shit. You got other Pisces that say, I always have a spare will. Did I fucking move on when the fuck I want? I ain't tell nobody. I'm for shit. What? Shit, you better write the book over. Then you got the page of wands. Something new, exciting, making you happy, making you excited. Now you fucking jumped off of this bitch and... Now you feeling all this new creativity. You got that light. You got that, the poof to say, you can do this. Move on. Okay? Which way you going to move? Either you're going to leave with where you at and go to the past, or you're going to leave that shit there and move the fuck on. Whether you're moving on alone or alone with someone else, move the fuck on from where you feel like you in this situation. Let's find out more. Tell me more about this moon. Tell me more about this moon, spirit. Um, the moon. You got a tower moment here. So now, we got the tower moment. Something here has got you all in your feelings. You feel like you're drowning, but you know you got to come up. It's like the phoenix. Everything turned into ashes, but you rise the fuck up. You start seeing things for what it is, right? Just like the phoenix. Turn everything to ashes, honey. You on rise. You know, you, you, you're moving on. But somebody is not moving on with you. You got to leave shit behind. You got a tower moment. Somebody here has to learn a lesson. All right? But the good thing about this tower moment is that whatever it is that was stopping you or you felt like you were stuck in a situation or stuck with your money, whatever it is, that you don't feel something floating along. Okay? That, that uh, tower moment is going to shake it where things, the nuts are falling down. And you don't have to work hard for it because it's coming down on you. Alright? So, they ain't doing nothing, but you're going to move on. You're going to feel better. Right now, you going through a situation. Or you was going through a situation. But things is going to start looking better. Okay. 
And I know you're probably saying, but when is it going to start looking better? And all these tarot card readers say, all this is coming and I'm going to be doing better. But when? It's going to happen at the right time. Only God knows. All right? God makes decisions. You just need to have patience. Okay? A tower moment is a good thing. It's to take you out of a situation that you seem like you can't get out of. All right? Because they, you should have done it a long time ago. But you was all in your head over it. So a tower moment is to allow you to move on. Because if you hit rock bottom, right? If you go bottom to the bottom of the ocean, you're going to swim back up because you don't want to drown, right? Correcto? And so there are lessons that God says, since you don't want to do it, how about I do it for you? And God rocks the world, rocks the tree. So that you can get out of this situation even though you don't want to. You have to. You understand? And at the bottom of that card, the king of swords. I feel like, uh, um, first of all, the tower moment is um, Mercury. Mercury starts a lot of shit. Have shit all fucked up, right? But then you got the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here is watching you. It's like, I feel like this person can suck the energy out of you. I feel like this person, it's like a hawk. Um, now, it's funny that I see the bats. I see the mountains. I see a hawk. But I also see an owl. And you know what owl says? Who? It's like they watch it. Like who? What? They want to know everything about you. What's going on. All right? This person cannot stop thinking about you. And maybe that's why y'all think you think about it. It's like something here that is not letting you can feel them. You, 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 you. It's like you there. It's like this person feels that you are leaving them, like you're done. This person feels like it's that tower moment on them. All right? This air sign feels that you have moved on. Like, it's like they having this awakening about the situation. And maybe at one time, you know, they thought the grass was greener on the other side or they thought that they could get better. Whatever it is, they send it in their deep thoughts. A sore is in their fucking head. All right? They're very smart. They know how to move around. But uh, it seems like they to themselves right now, um, spending time with themselves, um, trying to analyze shit. Uh, going back, looking at your pictures, or maybe watching you on social media, because I see an owl there, but I also see a bat, and I also see a crow, and, and it's a whole bunch of shit going on. I see mountains, right? This motherfucker's fine as shit, look good, and oh my God, I know all about it. Okay, tell me more about this emperor. And that, see, this is where you at right now. I feel like, you know, you 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 leaving something behind. You leaving this person behind, right? Because this person ain't talking, ain't making no moves. So you moving on, right? But it's a tower moment that had to happen. This person is going through a tower moment. I feel they going through the tower moment, and maybe their money's everything feel like it stopped. No income coming in the way they want it. Um, but nothing's moving the way that they wanted it to do. But I feel like this person, when it, I, I just feel like they they just, they they reminiscing about the past because they're looking at the past. They are sitting there, but they, it's, it, I feel like this person's 
sucks your energy out of you when you are around them. I feel like everything can, it's just very stressful, right? But I feel like this person's watching you somewhere or another. Um, this person, you know, it's like that hawk. Mm, 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 mm. Very stubborn. Very sharp with their mouth. Okay, it can be a heat of uh, uh, you seeing them and then shit just getting real ugly and sour. Okay? You got the five of cups with the imp with the, uh, Empress, something new is starting for you. Something all new. And this is what's coming that you don't see. Something new is starting for you. But you got the five of cups. You still, you sitting there worrying about spill milk. Shit that already happened. And you're not looking at all the blessings that you have. That you uh, created, okay? Whether it's your kids, a new job, a new career, a uh, new craft, a new business. You're doing good here. It's the beginning of all kinds of stuff. But here, for some reason, you're crying over spilled milk, over things that, uh, that don't really matter. And not even looking at all the blessings that you have. Okay? You're overthinking. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You're doing a lot of thinking here. About what it was. About what you're missing out on. Or you're not even, you're not even realizing that you, are really, you really got a good life. But you're not looking at it like that. Tell me, tell me more. Tell me more about this five of cups. Tell me why she's in her thoughts. The ace of swords. Whew, you are all the way up there. You got that beam. You got that light. These are steps going all the way to your brain. To your mint brain. Okay? You the light. Okay? Look, look at look how she's, you know, this fancy lady. You know what I mean? Like. She's all the way to the top of that. That's called. You 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 walked a long way to get there. It wasn't easy getting there. Okay? It wasn't that nothing has been easy. You getting there. All right. Now, what you don't see coming is this page of wands. Something very spiritual and exciting, something new. Something is lighting the flame to start something over with this king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This motherfucker looks like he wants you in the worst way, honey. He wants you. But it's like, but you come into this aha moment. Aha moment. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. Seems like everything is starting to make sense. Seems like you're going through a lot, but everything is starting to make sense. Something new and exciting, vibracious, but you're going through something to make it, to get you to what that place you need to be. It's because now you're smarter than you've ever been. But it's a part of your life then that you have to go through to get to this place. And you shouldn't have fear, but I feel like you, it's like a fear. The unknown. What if, or how would this work? Okay. Um, it's letting go of the fear to move to a better place in your life with person from the past or the future, whatever it is. But this person from the past, you're going to learn a lot from. There is, and a lot of y'all Pisces are already there. Y'all like, shit, fuck that. Miss Lisa, I'm in a different place in my life. I'm not going to allow nobody to play with me and not, And we are friends. We are nothing but friends. Okay? It's like you're not sleeping with the person or not. You literally nothing but friends. Okay? Or maybe um, 
this person wants to be more than friends or maybe you had just met a new person in your life and they want to be more than friends but you're taking it so slow with them all right or this person's looking at you like you are definitely the one i've been looking for but it's almost like everything is in slow motion it's like you're taking it slow and at the same time a lot of y'all can be in a situation where you working, but it ain't nobody in your life. You in a different place. It's all work, 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 work. Okay? Just like um, Brianna say, work it. Okay, work, 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 work. And bitch, you better have my fucking money. Okay? Yeah. Like that. It's like all you're doing is working. Some of y'all is getting ready to be on an adventure or something new. Start a whole new business that you didn't think you was even going to start. Okay? Or walking into a business and saying, oh, I can do this and I'm making money at it. All right? But taking you to a different field. And that's what it's doing. Or you're going to a situation, a whole relationship, but... I feel like whoever this air sign is, you you really went through it. Like you you like told them, are you coming? That person didn't want to come. Cause that person didn't believe that you could get over them. They didn't believe that shit because it was a tower moment there. And it took place and it is the now. But that person is in their head and feeling themselves now because they know that you're not playing, that you on a different level. All right, and it's not all about who I'm supposed to make happy that ain't you. It's about making the person you with happy, not the world, who you with. See, these people, especially these air signs, they feel like they got to prove to somebody who they are or they got to be in a bunch of uh, a groupies or, or a family, whatever it is. It's like a group of people that they feel like it's, their, it's approval or that they're the captain of these of this group that they're in or this family they created that they need to feel like they're the ones in charge or they're the ones that or they they did they need their approvals and if their approvals if if something went wrong with you and this person then to them um this um these people mean a lot to them their approval how they see y'all and see and i don't have time for that shit at all I feel like if that's what they want, they need to stay with them. Because there ain't nothing I can do for them at all. When I mean at all, at all. At, when I mean at all, at all. It ain't no getting together. It ain't shit. It ain't nothing. All right? Because I'm not going to be walking in other people's shadow and people in my damn business. No. If they can't get away from whoever they with or whoever they been and people running and trying, you know, Oh, you did this to me. My friends are looking at me like, you know, I'm allowing you to do this to me. How they look. If they got to live that life, then stay with the motherfuckers you with. Because I ain't with nothing. I ain't impressing or doing shit. I'm me. And if if I'm not good enough, then stay with the 95% because I'm the 5%. And I'm going to keep saying it. I can't allow somebody that want me to live... 95% of their world, and I'm 5% over here alone. Fuck that. I want 100% of a motherfucker. Now, I don't want 95%. I don't want to be your 5%. I want 101. And if I can't get it, then I don't want it. And that's the bottom line. Okay? I'm not uh sitting here fucking worrying about what if, what ain't, what should have been. I don't give a fuck. I'm fine where I'm at. And that is some real shit. Because you know what? You made me who I am today. You didn't meet me like this. You made me this person. Okay? I was giving. I was loving. I did everything I had to do. But you made me to be this limit. This salt. I wasn't like this. But this is the way I am. 
you made me be this way. You don't like it, but this is who you made me to be. It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Think about it, Pisces. Where you at? I gave you many examples where you are at. If you need a private reading, get it from me or whoever you want to get it from. Okay? It's up to you. It's your life. You know, you can't be afraid to make decisions. If you think it's the right decision, then do it. If you think it's not, then don't do it. All right? But but your intuition is guiding you to know what you need to know. Where you need to be. All right, Pisces? Now, today, I have decided that, um, and I don't tell y'all anything about what I do anymore because, um, it wasn't benefit me with the cross watches or all the crazy shit, but I, um, you know, I am doing something different today. I am, um, planning on getting out and about and taking that little trip alone, just enjoying my life, and that's what I'm planning on doing today. So, I'll see you this afternoon. Talk to you later, Pisces. Love you. Bye.